This effect in this video is called Cinema Grow and you can easily do it using a free software by Microsoft called Microsoft Clipkit. Hey guys and welcome to my video. Thank you for being here and let's jump in and show you how to do that very quickly. So before you jump into the tutorial, I recommend you to go to the Microsoft website and download Clipkit. It's absolutely free of cost. And now I'm going to show you how that works. So you gonna go to that software click open and go to the folder and download that little clip you recorded you don't need a long video you just need like a small portion of a movement for example like this one I took a bit longer just to be in safe side now I'm going to click play and what you want to do you want to pick up right after the water touched the floor so what I can do I can move it forward right there and on the top they should tell you exactly what to do like it says a clipped can only be made from a video duration is second seconds or less please select a portion of this video below now what i can do i should stay there because you have to remember that whole video is going to be a loop so you don't essentially need to take a whole long video all you have to do just a small portion where it records a, a movement such as a movement where the finger and the glass doesn't move a lot and there is a, like a nice little flow so what I can do, maybe stop there. You see, this is why sometimes taking a smaller video is a lot better than taking a longer video because you have too much choices. That means waste of time. Lesson of life, my friend. Now, I think I'm happy there. I can go back and forth. There's one problem. See that my hand is going back to front. You don't want that. You don't, you just need smaller portion where everything stays steady and you have a flow. So I'm there and click OK. And hopefully this should give me an exceptional result. Right, so that's your option number one. And this is the interface looks like. Option number two would be clicking add new layer. So when you click a new layer, you can select from the video which part you want it to be looping and which one you want to keep everything steady right so what i'm going to do i'm going to click loop and once you're done you have this little pen and you want to just draw and this is where the fun begins at the same time this is kind of you have to be very precise now i really hope this is good in one go let me see now I'm going to click play and it's going to render. Oh, this is brilliant. I should I should be happy with just this one. I'm not really satisfied with the results. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the original video and click that video. Click up the portion. I think is perfect. This time a bit longer. Maybe I'll pick about two and a half seconds. Click OK. Let it load. Add a layer. Click about this much. I hope it works this time. Now what I do, I'll go backward and then let it render and then press play. Brilliant. Yes. Now we are talking. So I just had to go for two try to get the whole result. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to export and when you export you have few options. You can either choose GIF. Obviously that's the most commonly used of this type of um, the videos but of course you can export in the mp4 the reason why i'm going to export in mp4 because my video editor does not support gif it only supports mp4 so i'm going to export in mp4 i already have one version ready what i'm going to do i'm going to do another export anyway so that you can see exactly how this works and how fast is the render and i'm definitely not going to cut to the result just for the sake of uh, showing you the result because you also need to know how efficient this software is in terms of exporting as well everything is important here so i just don't want to make a short video and show you half of it and don't show you the the dark side <laughs> dark side all right save now as you can see it's exporting and it's a small three second video and i believe it's taking longer than Three seconds. I don't. I'm not subscribed to a website who sells um, royalty free audio. I'm broke, so I'm just gonna make my own music. Hey, there you go. Thank God. 
right so let me see the final i showed you the demonstration in this software though but how does it look like in the actual video so that's the previous one that's the one that i exported cinegraph one it's about 10 second video for 8 megabyte about 9 megabyte so i'm gonna play it wonderful wonderful i'm extremely satisfied because guys uh, look you can always fine tune these edges like i'm going to show you what i mean by fine tune the edges so i'm going to take a pause when i'm playing the video right see that here you can see the movement which of course does not look professional and it is important to look professional when you are going to make such video for tv commercials or social media marketing where this this has the one of the biggest use um, for fun videos for your own I promise you in a small tiny screen this video look already cool obviously you can play with it and then learn it and I highly recommend you download this software because it's crazy that it's free of cost where you can you have to do a lot more work in I think Adobe After Effects which you have to pay uh, quite a bit of money and I'm going to keep this software for myself as well. I'm going to make some cool fun video for my Instagram, Twitters and etc. By the way, now that you are here, if you allow me to invite you to follow and subscribe to my Twitter and Instagram account where I upload a lot of cool videos, share my stories. So yeah, that will help. That's all. Very easy, very quick. If you don't have the software, go to Microsoft Store and then download it immediately. It's fun, it's very useful, and it sometimes it's really important for your social media and marketing purpose. I hope this video has been very helpful, and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.